Beer News. Hello friends, I like beer. In the Beer News from the edition 130 of the program, sobre cerveja que processa a Peixoto, we highlight new Guinness labels. If you like the iconic Guinness drought, the definition of the stout style produced in Ireland, last week we announced the launch of Guinness 0.0, alcohol-free version of the classic Irish. But know that the Guinness plant in Baltimore, the United States, produces a spectacular blonde and an IPA, among other labels. But the highlight is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels, produced in the USA with 10.3% alcohol content. Aged for eight months in bourbon barrels with aromas of chocolate, bourbon, and red apples, notes of coconut and vanilla, chocolate, roasting, and coconut flavors. And we also have the Imperial Ginger Bread Spiced Stout, aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels with 11% alcohol content and with allspice ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg in its receipt. Mondial de la BR Rio Boxes for Sale Sales of the Brazilian event Mondial de la BR Rio 2020 Boxes started on November 10th. The event, which this year will be in an online format, broadcast on its own channel on YouTube on December 12th, developed a partnership with breweries and Brazilian Empório da Cerveja to offer its visitors and fans a selection of beers, gadgets, and the iconic and collectible Mundial Glass. There are three boxes with volumes at about $30, $60, and $90 each. The link to purchase the box is on the bill of the Instagram Mundial de la BR Rio and opens the Emporio da Cerveja website with the description of each kit. AB InBev restructures distribution, sales, and marketing in USA. AB InBev reacted to its alien performance in the United States and announced today a major restructuring of distribution, sales, and marketing of its U.S. subsidiary, Einhauser Bush. By further regionalizing the company's approach to sales, marketing, and distribution, Einhauser Bush hopes to be better positioned to win in key regional markets. The local drink movement is very strong in the USA, and the repositioning aims to compete with local craft beers, which have 22% of the American beer market. 10 years of Cervejaria Búzios. Despite the difficulties brought by the pandemic, Brazilian Cervejaria Búzios remains positive with its goal for 2020, the year of commemoration of its 10 years. In July, construction began of his factory in the city of Búzios, Rio de Janeiro, and to celebrate this unique moment, they will launch a new beer, Bravissima. The factory will have access via the highway RG102, or by boat through the main channel of the Marina District. With the facility opening scheduled for April, the city of Búzios will gain a new tourist spot for next year. Bravissima is an imperial IPA with 10 types of mouths and 10 types of hopes to reach a beer with 10% of alcohol, 100 of IBU, and the color SRM10. A beer with a 10 rating to celebrate 10 years of Cervejaria Búzios. 
With a launch schedule for mid-November, the beer can be found in the main type of lists in Rio de Janeiro and Niterói, Brazil. It will also be sold in bottle format, 600 milliliters. Molson Coors launches e-commerce platform in United Kingdom. Molson Coors Beverage Company debuted Revel, revel.co.uk, a new direct-to-consumer e-commerce platform that offers the full range of the company's brands, along with other beers, wines, spirits, soft drinks and snacks from select third-party partners. Revel promises next-to-day home delivery of beverages and snacks for consumers across England, Wales, and parts of Scotland. The service offers two-day delivery to Northern Ireland, the Scottish Highlands, and other more difficult-to-reach locales. Petropolis Group e-commerce site. The website www.bondebeer.com.br, the e-commerce site of the Brazilian Petropolis Group, with products from the company and partners, is on the air. Among the drinks we have beers, cachaça, vodka and ice, as well as energy drinks. Among the beers we will find Black Princess, Brasaria Ampolis, Imperatriz, Itaipava, Lund, Petra and Voltenburger Kloster. With great navigation, the site classifies the beers and allows search by color, bitterness, and alcohol content, among others. Cruz Revelia Praline Brazilian Brewery Cruz launches Revelia Praline, an English spirit beer infused with Praline tea from the tea shop a international brand specializing in artisanal teas. Beer is spirited by Indian Pale Ale from the English Brewery School and which receives an infusion of praline tea, has a reddish color, is full-bodied and elaborated from a set of malts that bring touches of caramel and biscuit. By adding tea, the beer gains complexity and presents aromas and flavors of hazelnut, vanilla, and cocoa. Revelia Praline has moderate to high bitterness, but clean, and the whole is balanced with the sweetness of the malts and the notes from the tea infusion. Packed in 473 milliliter can with 5.5% of alcohol, available on the Cruz website at Cruz cervejaria.com.br and the tea shop chain stores. Heineken buys Texelzy Beer Brewerish. Heineken has announced to buy 20-year-old Texelzy Beer Brewerish, the third biggest specialty craft brewery in the Netherlands. Texelzy is based on the Dutch island of Texel and brews 13 distinctive specialty beers, including the flagship brand Texelzy Skunkoop. With Skunkoop, the Texel Brewery is located in the wheat beer sector, where Heineken has a relatively small presence. To maintain Texel's unique identity, Heineken will manage the brewer autonomously. To guarantee this, the management team and workforce will remain intact. Heineken also attaches great value to the island character and the origins of the company, which is why one thing is clear, Texels will remain on Texel. AB InBev is launch Mike's Hard Sparkling Water in the United Kingdom another hard seltzer in the market. At 5% of alcohol, it is described as natural and refreshing with only 99 calories per 330 milliliters can in free flavors, lemon, lime, and black cherry. With low sugar, low calories, and low alcohol content, 
the drink is expected to appeal to the millennials community. We have seen how quickly the alcoholic splashing water market has grown in the United States, and we believe now is the time to bring the trend to the United Kingdom, says AB InBev. Tasting Marathon from November 20 to 23 on Instagram, says a PSTF1, we will have two tastings with Professor Cesar Peixoto per day. Every day at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Brazilian hour, we will taste beer, spirits, coffee, and cigars with sensational harmonizations. Do not miss this opportunity to expand your knowledge in the universe of drinks and gastronomy. All the tastings will be in Portuguese. This was the beer news for the edition 130 of the program Sobre Cerveja com o professor César Peixoto. Cervejeiro. A apresentação, professor César Peixoto.